Uh, we decided to launch in Lane Crawford for a variety of reasons. Uh, first, Hong Kong is an extraordinary market for a city in a region which is only seven million people. Uh, this is one of our best markets in the world, not just per capita, but in terms of total sales. Uh, also, we have a, an extraordinary relationship uh, with our readers here anyway, very high awareness. Um, and of course, you know that Hong Kongers like to shop. When we launched Monocle, we didn't uh, even conceive of at least a standalone uh, retail business. We knew there would always be some sort of mail order, so we launched with three bags uh, that we're doing with Porter, which are on sale at Lane Crawford. Um, but it was, it was really an opportunity that we saw a very small space in London that we liked, that we didn't want to see fall into the hands of one of the big chain retailers, so we snatched it up and here we are. What's interesting about the Monocle product mix is it's almost the same discipline you have in selecting merchandise as you do in, in editing a magazine. I think any good retailer uh, is a good editor, uh, and of course that's what we have to do day in and day out at the magazine. We have a number of very strong relationships. I'm fortunate, my team is very fortunate that we travel constantly. So we're meeting interesting designers, we're meeting emerging brands, we're, we're meeting established brands. One of the exciting things about the project here is that uh, we have two very interesting relaunches, uh, world premieres, uh, where we worked with Carl Malmsten in Stockholm. So we've got a great table and also a very nice uh, lamp, uh, which have never been seen before outside of Sweden. The Monocle Shop all-time bestseller, um, it's probably a tie, but I would say it's our Boston bag, uh, which I designed in collaboration with Yoshida Kaban in Japan, the people who own, who own Porter. Um, and it's really been designed as the, the perfect one-week travel bag for men. Lots of women buy it as well. And I would say that uh, probably the tie is with the short hauler, uh, also a bag that we've done with Porter from Japan, which was designed as the, the perfect overnight bag. So when you need to get on the road and you need to travel with your laptop and everything you need for work. There's also a separate panel, uh, which is good for a pair of trousers, socks, undies, and, uh, and a dress shirt. Uh, in the coming months, we're going to be opening up uh, not only the Monocle News Bureau, but uh, also there'll be a small permanent retail element as well. Um, the reason why Hong Kong, a variety of reasons. We looked at a number of centers. Uh, we, you know, we, we explored potentially doing something in Singapore. But we just came back to the fact that Hong Kong has great neighborhoods. Uh, you can, of course, be in, in great malls uh, and there are wonderful office buildings, but we found uh, a very cute uh, former bar, in fact. Uh, a great corner space uh, in Wan Chai, and uh, you know it's you know the city of course functions brilliantly as, as a hub. So logistically, it's great that we can get our people all over the region, and we will use Hong Kong to cover everything. Of course, all of China, but all the way down to to Auckland as well from here. Uh, and and you know of course the the second reason is um, it's a great city for business. Uh, if I look at my passport stamps. I think I traveled to Asia probably over 40 times in the last three years. I only traveled to the States 10 times. So it shows that uh, definitely land of opportunity at the moment.